this video, you'll be learning the window to catch them in CS2. Regardless of your CS experience, this video will help you make this jump. I will break down the steps in depth and even if you are a beginner, by the end of this video, not only will you be able to do this jump, but also learn more things, so stick around till the end. First, use this bind in practice. It will allow you to teleport back to this position and save you valuable time. By default, is mouse for in the bind I have provided. You can use any key as you wish. Also, do subscribe to the channel. It helps my channel grow, which further motivates me to make more quality videos for you. Now, you must follow these principles which I laid down for you. You can break these rules later, but only after mastering them. Press your forward movement key and run along this line. Don't press W after reaching this point. Let's move on to step 2. Here, we'll be performing a jump action. So when you reach the point, now not only you stop pressing W, but you also press your jump key. Make sure you're not pressing W after jumping. Step 3. Now we will be pressing our right movement key. So now you move forward till the point you jump and let go of W and you hold D. Take your time in these fundamental steps. This will make your jumps consistent. Once you're performing all these actions correctly, we can move on to the next step. Now we are going to be strafing. So we do all the steps we have done till now. Now we just move our mouse to the right. Make sure you move it slowly and not just suddenly. Try to practice this as many times as possible until you feel pretty confident. Move on to the next step only when you are able to do this. If you are bumping your head, you are not doing this correctly. Do not be discouraged if you fail. Just follow the steps. Chill out and practice. Believe it or not, you have already learned what matters most. Now we'll follow this diagonal line for our next step. Now I want you to run off the window using our diagonal line trajectory. You may face difficulties like this. So again, it is important to do all the steps in an incremental manner. Make sure you perfect all the steps and take your time with it. If you're doing this process correctly, you find your crosshair aiming around this area. Make sure you're not messing up the previous steps. Now we can move on to the next step. This is the hardest part of the jump. Learning when to jump is key to our success. If we jump too soon, we bump our head. If we jump too late, we can't jump at all. This will require patience. You can try jumping in our diagonal line to master this step. It is okay to fail. I heard this somewhere. Those who sweat more in training will bleed less in war. Now add all the steps up. Now we start pressing D as well when we jump off the window. You might not be able to time these strokes accurately, so practice following the principles. If you can't time your jump, you can see exactly when I'm jumping here. I wanted to talk a little bit about strafing. I'll only discuss what is required here. Your max velocity with knife is 250 units. Strafing is important because it allows us to reach higher velocities than the developers intended. This allows us to travel extra units because of an increase in velocity. Simple strafing requires you to jump, move your mouse to the left or right and sync your keyboard movement with it. If you move to the right, you should be pressing D. If you move mouse to the left, you should be pressing A. If you look at my velocity, you can see that now I'm able to go above 250 units. This much info about strafing is more than enough to do most jumps. Let us use this knowledge in our jump now. Let us practice our previous steps before moving on. Now we strafe slightly and slowly to the right. Make sure you crouch at the end. Now 
put it all together. Now you have successfully learned the window to catch up in CS2. But this is not the end. I told you I had more info for you at the end. I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe and help me grow this channel. All my principles can be broken to do this jump. You could jump from here. Or here and still land the jump. The way I teach is a way with least skewness towards skill and the maximum threshold for success. You can do this jump even like this. This jump is supposed to allow us to look over the smoke. Just crouching here, we become a sitting duck to our enemies. You don't want to sit here and let them draw you like a French girl. Wearing this. All right. Wearing only this. No top mid smoke means you quickly move down and hold an off angle. This is an off angle, but you're trapped here with no escape. This angle allows you to fight and escape. From the enemy perspective, you don't keep your crosser here while crossing mid. You are more likely to aim here. You have a slight advantage here. You want to master this moment and reach here fast. If you overwhelcome your stay, the enemy might punish you.